In this video, let us solve example 14 of uh, the chapter triangles. The question is, O is any point inside a rectangle ABCD. See the figure they have given here. The figure prove that OB square plus OD square is equal to OA square plus OC square. The question may also be given uh, with the figure like this. O is any point uh, inside the rectangle ABCD. See the figure. We can see the figure here. Prove that OB square plus OD square is equal to OA square plus OC square. Or uh, in exam, the same question may also be given without the figure. The question may be asked like this. Then we have to draw the figure. O is any point inside a rectangle ABCD. So what is given here? A rectangle ABCD, O is any point in it. Like that we have to draw. So now let us write. What is to prove? OB square plus OD square is equal to OA square plus OC square. Where is OB? This is OB, this is OD, this is OA, this is uh, OC. By looking at the figure and uh, to prove, what is to prove this one, isn't it? Uh, by having a right angle triangle in the figure, we can prove this thing, isn't it? There is a relationship between uh, square of something and right angle triangle. So, let us do some construction. What is it? Draw parallel line to AD or BC like this or you can also draw parallel line uh, to AB or uh, DC like this. But now let us retain the parallel line PQ. This is PQ through O. It should pass through O. That is the main important criteria. Draw PQ parallel BC so that P lies on AB and Q lies on DC. So here PQ is perpendicular to AB and PQ is also perpendicular to DC. So this is 90 degree, this is also 90 degree, this is also 90 degree, this is also 90 degree. Now let us prove. Now let us concentrate on OB square of LHS. Where is OB? This one is OB. OB belongs to the right triangle OPB. So OB square is equal to BP square plus OP square because of Pythagoras theorem. Now let us concentrate on OD square. Where is OD? This is OD which is the hypotenuse of right angle triangle OQD. In right angle triangle OQD, OD square is equal to DQ square plus OQ square because of Pythagoras theorem. Now this is the equation number 1. This is the equation number 2. Now uh, let us add equation number 1 and equation number 2. What is LHS? OB square plus OD square is equal to BP square plus OP square plus DQ square plus OQ square. Let this be equation number 3. Now we can also continue like this. We can change BP into, this is BP, into QC. QC square, OP square like that. And DQ square, here is DQ, this one, into AP. So AP square, OQ square. This is nothing but OA square plus OC square. 
or you can continue like this now let us concentrate on uh, oa square of rhs where is oa this is oa this belongs to the right uh, angle triangle opa so in right angle triangle opa oa is the hypotenuse so oa square is equal to ap square plus op square because of pythagoras theorem now let us concentrate on oc square this is oc which is the hypotenuse of right angle triangle oqc so in right triangle oqc oc square is equal to cq square plus oq square because of pythagoras theorem let this be equation number 4 and uh, this be equation number 5 now let us add equation number 4 plus equation number 5 what do you get in lhs oa square plus oc square oa square plus oc square what is there in rhs ap square plus op square plus cq square plus oq square let this be equation number 6 the equation number 3 and equation number 6 are the two important equations here we can change uh, bp into qc here bp is equal to qc why opposite sides of the parallelogram and similarly dq into ap why opposite sides of the parallelogram ap qd so so i will rewrite this equation which is nothing but this equation okay i'll rewrite bp into qc op square okay dq into ap square plus oq square here observe ap is there this one is ap qc is there this one is qc this is op this is oq so this is equal to oa square plus oc square so ob square plus od square is equal to oa square plus oc square the same thing we are needed to prove so hence proved